right, heading up Car Canyon Road. I'm gonna stop off at the waterfall. I'm gonna park my car there, the truck. From there, it'll be a four mile mountain bike ride to get to the single track that takes me to the peak. That'll be another three miles, so seven miles up from where I park. Four on mountain bike, three by foot, and looking forward to getting to the top. Looks like the aspens have been changing colors from the bottom. Uh, they are golden up at the top. Looking forward to getting into some of those fall colors up at the top. Right now it's 73 degrees, and up there it's probably a good 60. Thanks to Stephen Glenn, he hooked me up with this super awesome mountain bike a couple years ago in Colorado Springs. Uh, I'm going to try out my new Solomon uh, sneakers. Pumped about that. And there's the road. It's a 14 mile round trip. Need to get way up there and back real quick because uh, Penn State's playing Michigan. 4.30 our time out here in Pacific Arizona time. So, two and a quarter miles to get to the top of the uh, top of the waterfall, which is right up here, and the road that I'm cycling on and actually hiking with with the bike. It's like biking and hiking at the same time. Some of it's just too steep, but uh, I won't get too close to the to the edge there. But just to take a quick gander, I could actually drive my truck up except for it's one lane and it is impassable in some places so if somebody's coming up and somebody's coming down somebody's gonna have to back up and it's really dangerous so uh, I decided to mountain bike I've only gone another quarter mile but it's just one really awesome view that I don't want to pass up here Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna park it down here in the next half mile. I'm gonna lock it to the fence and then go three miles up to the top, and then come back down and then ride the bike down. <laughs> So here we are, about to rack the bike up. We're at the sawmill trailhead. Here's a pretty cool sign for Coronado National Forest Campground, Reef Town site. The trail is about to go that way. Probably gonna be the last Saturday that I can get up here while these things are turning. Because uh, it's gonna be gone. Fall's gonna be gone up here. can't get this 5,000 feet below where my house is. Aspens don't exist. Mesquite trees. Uh, what else? Just all kinds of scrub pines. Junipers. Cactus. So, it's weird. 5,000 feet up and you get a kind of 
tree that grows up here. probably actually another mile to the top it's 4 30 I left about 2 30 so I got some distance to cover up and back fighting uh, darkness sun's going down sun setting but uh, as long as I'm down uh, this trail after I hit the peak Get back down three miles once I'm on the bike and back on the unimproved roads. Uh, that should be fine even in the dark. But I would ride to work every day and watch the top of this mountain turn golden. And last Saturday I didn't get a chance to get up here. I did some stuff. Fun. But this is it. It's the end of coming off. And uh, here we go. Almost at the top. Uh, got onto the other side of the Huachuca Mountain Range. Yeah, look at that gold right there. Yeah. That's, uh, that's Miller Peak. And the Arizona Trail is going that way. I'm going to cut into it this way. Uh, that way. I'm gonna link up with it and then get up on uh, Car Peak. Mm -hmm. 